Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a professional and aesthetic logo in just 5 minutes. By the end of this video, you'll be able to make logos like this with no experience required and there's no software needed since this is all achieved on your web browser. The first step you're going to need to do is go to your web browser and search for logo maker without the e dot com and click enter. So once you're over here, you can click start my design and you can just X out over here. Now that we're on the website, here's a quick overview. You can search for any icon you want over here in the little search bar. You can add text and shapes over here as well as change the colors right over here. Now since we got the basics covered, let's move on to step number two which is create your icon. You can start off by clicking this little magnifying glass right over here right beside the search bar. As you can see there's many categories like animals, decorative, shapes and much more. You can go ahead and type in whatever you want but for this video purpose I'm going to be making a fake logo for a barbershop just to show you guys. So for for this logo in specific, I'm going to be searching for a face silhouette. So I can just search up face and look at this. There's over 1000. If not, there's limitless amount of silhouettes you can get over here. So I'm going to go over here and get this one. So once we're back in the main screen, we can move it. We can move it around. Just hold and drag it. We can also change the size by clicking one of the corners and resizing it. So I'm going to leave it over here. So now we're going to want to make it more unique since this is pretty basic. So now we're going to go back in the search bar and now we're going to search for scissors. And once again, there's limitless options. So I'm going to pick this one. And once we're back, we can also resize this as we want. So I'm going to make it about this size. I'm going to rotate it just like that. I'll make it a little bit smaller. Oops. Oops. There we go. Just about that. I'll rotate a little bit more. Right about there seems fine. This is what I really recommend to do is grabbing a bunch of icons or not a bunch, but just grabbing a few icons and adding them into one logo to make them a little bit more customized instead of just having one icon. If one icon doesn't please you, you can add multiple to make it a little bit better for your liking. Okay, so now since we're done with that, we can move on to step number three, which is adding your brand name. So we're going to go over here to the text bar. We're going to click it. We got some text over here just for the sake of this video um type in anything you want i'm going to type in clean just for one of my words i'm going to be adding one more but for now we got this we can adjust the size we'll add it right about there then what we're going to do we can copy paste this over here there we go we're going to edit this and we're going to add cuts okay we got that we're going to resize it again, add it right about there. Okay, we're going to change the font. For this one, I think we can keep it that. For this one, we're going to add a little bit more boldness on it. So we can highlight it. We can go over here, bold, something like that. No, I'm not feeling that one. We can go here and change it ourselves. Okay, that seems all right. There we go. So we can highlight the text and just make it centered. I'm going to resize this, make it a little bit smaller. There, that seems good enough. Move this a little up. There we go. We're actually going to change the clean name. Instead of clean, we will do fresh. There we go. So now we're going to move on to step number four and it's going to be selecting your colors. So this can be done very simply by just heading over here at the right side of your screen and selecting it. So we're gonna change we're gonna change this fresh fresh word over here. We're just gonna make it black, nice and simple. And then for the cut, I'm thinking we can do it a little dark, dark blue. That's not blue. Dark light blue, something. There we go. And if you guys want to get more advanced over here, we can go here, highlight the cut. We don't really have to highlight it, just click on it. We can go over here and we can do a gradient, a nice little gradient if you guys would like. It's not recommended, but you could do it if you'd like. You can play around with it, anything, but for this, I'm just going to keep it simple, a solid color. Okay, there we go. If you guys would like, you guys could add an outline over here. Choose whatever you want. I could add a black one. You can change the line width over here. Customize it, do whatever. And you see how this this outline is kind of stuck with the letters if you would like to fix that you can click on the text click over the styles and over here at letter spacing you can spread it out a little bit more boom that's perfect 
and just make it you can use the arrow keys to move if you guys would like and there we go okay so now you're all done with the logo and you want to download it so you go over here to the top right and you click save logo so now let it process give it a couple seconds and so it'll show you high resolution license file that you have to pay but you don't really have to pay you can go down here and click download low resolution png file so you click that you enter your email accept and do that so i'm going to do that right now and then you want to click send files to email the pink red button whatever that is and then now since it's all downloaded you can go in your email and you can check the file okay and this is the final logo of course the background's removed so that's why it looks like this but if you put it into an editing software or whatever you want you can put a background a white background you can do whatever you want and yeah that's pretty much it guys all right guys so that's it for this video if you guys like the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one